What's going on everybody? It's Valentin from SS Life. Today I got another overview for you guys about the 18 Lincoln Navigator. With a complete new design that is lighter, faster, and more spacious, you can see this car starting at about $72,000. And we can't see under the hood at this moment, but this car will come with a twin turbo EcoBoost 3.5 engine, which is the standard V6 by Ford and Lincoln. But this one is a special one. This one will be pushing around 450 horsepower and about 40 more torque than the previous model. But nothing's confirmed yet, so we're still waiting on confirmed results. And with Ford and GM's new transmission, that is a 10-speed automatic transmission, this Navigator will include that. You can see the all-new redesigned front end with the new grille, lights, hood, and everything. That includes a new hood that slopes down that gives you a better visibility. You see the new grille that is way bigger, way more broader, that now has a honeycomb mesh grille inside of it. That's not just like the horizontal bars as before. And with this new grille design, you can see it in other Lincoln models, like the new Lincoln Continental. And they also updated the new headlights, making them more longer, more rounder. And now they actually wrap around the body of the car instead of just being in the front. These are adaptive headlights that react to steering, speed, and elevation of the car. They automatically adjust to illuminate the road ahead of you, giving it the most light as you can, allowing you to see the best as you can. Another thing new about the front end of this car is that these lights right here are not daytime running lights, these are actually the turn signals. If you guys have seen the concept, you guys seen this was supposed to come with the gull wing doors that swing up and down, but on this one, it will not be coming with that, which is kind of a bummer. You'll never see that on a car, especially a Navigator or Lincoln. And on the back, you can see a new design that kind of looks like the Expeditions, but more different with different trims and different styles. On this one, you can see the taillights are new and different. that kind of wrap around the side of the car, kind of like the headlights giving a more sleeker design that wraps around the car, that flows with the car. And you can see on the back, the new center taillight that extends from side to side that goes with the quarter panel taillights. You can also see the new reflectors at the bottom of the bumper. And you can see the new spoiler up top that gives it a more sporty design, kind of like the new Expeditions. And for those of you that are wondering what this is, this is something that Ford and Lincoln has been doing for a couple years now. They actually cover their towing hitch, so you don't see it at all, making it more better design and making it more clean and flush, as you can see in this model over here. And this car might also come with different rims, but not everything is announced yet, so we're still waiting on everything to be confirmed. And with these new models, Lincoln is trying to stay away from Ford's interior, trying to make it more different, more luxurious, and more elegant, and more clean. And by looking at this interior, you can really tell that they have been improving themselves. And as you guys can see on this certain model, it has a creamish tan leather seats, with no design, it's regular ventilated ones. This one does have the wood trim interior. Kind of different than the other one that is here. With the new shifter knob, that is a rotary knob now, instead of a regular shifter knob. And with a huge radio display. And on this model right here, this one also does have the tan whitish creamer seats. But on this one, you can tell the quilt of the design that is in the middle of the seats. Kind of gives it a more luxury look. It makes it look way more better than just the plain and leather. And as you can see, at the big display screen for the radio, the knobs in the middle. And on the middle, as you can see, a little different than the other one. This one does have a wood type of design on it, but it's more straight and more black than the other one, as the other one is more brown with actually wood specks inside of it. 
You can also see that design on the door trims. And on this refresh, Lincoln has included the new Lincoln Perfect Position Seats, which lets you have a 30-way adjustability for your seats, just like the new Continental. So if you're a person like me that can never get comfortable in their seat, it's always changing it, always changing the position, always changing the lumbar and everything like that, this is the perfect car for you. Got 30 ways to adjust your car, which is amazing, perfect for electric vehicle, and perfect for a big SUV as this one is. You can't see that this car is not on, but on this new refresh, the speedometer will now have a 12 inch display that you can configure to yourself. And this will now have the industry largest and brightest heads of display that is available. This will allow you to view your phone calls, radio stations, and navigation directions right on your windshield without even looking away. And besides this tannish creamish interior, you can now choose a mahogany red or a coastal blue leather interior, which will look way better. Another cool feature on the navigators is a 20 speaker surround sound that it comes with. It has 20 speakers all around the car, giving you the best sound. They will also include the six USB ports across all three rows, four 12 volt outlets, and a 110 volt outlet, and a wireless phone charger. And as you can see in the rear, there's two display screens on the back of the seats. So the kids in the back seat have something to do, watch TV, watch a movie, or play some games. This model over here is a black label edition, which is a special option for the Lincoln Navigator. This one will include new rims, black trim, a different interior with a different center console on the back with some more luxury features. We'll also have the black tile lettering in the back and all the way around the car, but more info on it will be announced soon. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot more content for you guys coming, so please like and subscribe for more. See you next time.